Also this morning, federal agents are now helping local police investigate that chilling murder of a Texas fitness instructor. The strongest clue is still this surveillance video of the suspect dressed in police SWAT gear inside the Dallas area church where the victim was killed. NBC's Kerry Sanders has the latest on this. Hi, Kerry. Good morning. Well, good morning, Matt. This morning, police, as you noted, with federal agents, are reviewing a mountain of new video. They're trying to match the suspect to security videos taken from a gun store less than a half mile from here. The suspect, dressed like a SWAT team member, face covered by a helmet, is carrying what detectives now believe is some sort of tool, perhaps a large crowbar. But it's the way this man or woman walks that has become the focus of their attention. Police want to know, did someone with that unique walk visit this neighborhood store that sells guns and other tactical gear? And if so, was he or she captured on video with their face uncovered? 45-year-old Missy Beavers was a popular fitness instructor, murdered early Monday morning just before she was supposed to lead a class. Her longtime well, friend, Cammie I mean, Jackson. I, I can't even fathom it. I mean, when I first heard about it on Monday, I, li I literally was sick to my stomach. Police are now getting help from two separate federal law enforcement agencies. At the crime scene Wednesday, an agent with alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. With him, a dog trained to sniff for explosives. But investigators won't say why or what the FBI agents are doing either. I appreciate all of y'all coming out here. Missy's husband, Brandon, was not home when his wife was killed. Instead, he was on a long planned fishing trip with his buddies, a trip he mentioned on his Facebook page back in March. His wife commenting, you deserve a great fishing trip, honey. At a Wednesday evening prayer service in the same church where Missy was killed, uniform and plain clothes detectives, all with a close watch on how people walked, looking to see, did anyone take steps that same telltale way? I hope there's an arrest soon. Um, if there's not, we'll just keep praying and hoping that they keep looking and hopefully they'll find someone, but eventually they'll pay. Detectives have recovered Missy Beaver's cell phone. A police source says they had no problem getting into it. They're looking at text messages, phone logs, emails, anything that's in the phone that may give them a clue if Missy Beavers was the intended target rather than just a random victim in the wrong place at the wrong time. Matt. Uh, Kerry Sanders in Texas. Kerry, thank you.